so basically what we've got going on today is uh, I've got three weeks left until comp and the coach has said to me uh, it's my last cheat day so I'm going to give give 10,000 calories a crack. I've asked coach's permission and he said yep it's a go ahead so we're, um, we're going to go all out today and, uh, and try and get 10,000 calories in. Um, just on the way to the gym at the moment even though we're going to be packing in a fair bit of junk today still got to get that cardio knocked over so we'll, uh, we'll get that sorted now. Well, first up this morning, we had cardio. Um, I was in good spirits. I thought, you know, 10,000 calories, I'll knock this over easy. Um, you know, with, with a bit of cardio under my belt, I thought, you know, I'll work up a bit of a hunger and, um, and we shouldn't have too many problems getting them down. Um, you know, the cardio for me is always something that's pretty intense, but um, we got through that without too many problems. Okay, so finished up cardio. Now it's on the way to McDonald's for meal one. Um, it's a pretty sort of standard meal to begin with, um, nothing too exciting just yet. I'm going to be doing two lots of hotcakes with syrup and butter of course and four hash browns with ketchup. So I'm looking forward to that on our way there now, fill up the guts after that fasted cardio. Well, after cardio, we were on our way to McDonald's. Um, for me, that was probably what I thought would be the easiest meal for me. It's something that I, um, that I would have on a cheat day anyway. Um, you know, hot cakes and, and some hash browns, but I was actually surprised after, um, after finishing them. I don't know if it was a mental thing or not, but um, I actually found that I was feeling pretty full after, after the two hot cakes and four hash browns, and I, um, I was a little bit worried, you know, being that it was only meal one and I still had a whole day to go. And I thought, holy crap, am I going to make it here? Um, but got, got the uh, hot cakes down, got the hash, hash browns down and um, had a few hours break in between that and the, um, and the next meal.
Next was the infamous caramel mud cake from Woolworth. Now that, well, that was a battle. Um, I uh, I had to have a bit of a bit of a break while I was eating that actually to just recoup and um, try and let my stomach settle a bit. I was I was surprised at how dense it was. I started eating it, off to a flying start. Um, got through about half of it and. Uh, and then it started to hit me, those sick feelings in the stomach. I thought to myself, I'm, if I finish this cake, I'm gonna lose it here. I'm gonna <laughs> throw up everywhere. Um, got through that first half, pushed my way on through the second half and got to a point where I had about one piece to go. And it was literally, I was holding back the vomit. Um, after a little break, I, uh, I managed to compose myself and, um, and finish off that last piece. But that cake sat in my stomach for the rest of the day. It felt like a brick sitting in my stomach. Every other meal following that was 10 times harder because of that cake. So I would I'd highly recommend not eating an entire Woolworths caramel mud cake in one sitting. Okay, so we're coming into the uh, Macca's drive through at the moment. The idea of this one is something that I talked about on my, uh, on my page a few days ago, which the concept is doing a... Uh, battered and deep fried cheeseburger. I'm going to do two of them. Now it's not really a big meal but uh, the calorie count's pretty high so we'll give this one a go and um, see if I don't throw up. Yeah can I just get two cheeseburgers please? That's it thanks. So we'll grab the cheeseburgers now and then uh, we'll pop down to the local takeaway place and see if they'll batter, and, batter them and deep fry them for us.
Next up was the cheeseburgers. This was probably the most fun um, of all the foods that I ate throughout the day. Um, and it was probably the one that I think a, a lot of you guys were, were looking forward to seeing as well. Um, you know, went through Macca's drive through and, and ordered my cheeseburgers. And to be honest, I was a bit nervous that we, that we wouldn't be able to find a fast food place that would batter them and deep fry them for us. Um, originally, the, the original place that I had in mind that we were going to go to was actually closed. So we went to a, a different place altogether. Got in there and um, I explained to the situation to the um, to the owner. You know, I was trying to knock over ten thousand calories, and he, he thought it was a great laugh. He was actually a really good sport about it, and um, yeah, without um, too much dramas, he took the cheeseburgers and, and battered them up for me and deep fried them, and I um, I sat there and ate them at the um, at the fast food place while while him and the rest of his family pretty much sat around and watched me eat them. Um, at that point, I was I was really struggling. Um, oh, the only saving grace was the fact that the deep fried cheeseburgers actually tasted really good. Um, but the whole entire time, I could still feel that caramel mud cake sitting in my stomach. And um, yeah, after I um, finished that meal, I, I sat there for a good 20 minutes trying not to chunder. All right. After we, um, after I finished up the uh, the cheeseburgers, it was it was time to come home, and um, I knew I needed to do something. My eye was all blocked up and in all sorts of, of trouble. My insides were just churning, um, so I decided to take a bit of a nap, a bit of a hibernation, I guess you'd say. Uh, I guess in the hope that something would digest and something would happen while I was sleeping. Um, took a bit of a nap, woke up. Still feeling crook as anything. Um, I actually took some fibrolyze, which um, which after probably twenty minutes after taking that, really, really started to help ease things up in the guts and um, sort of gave me the, the little push I needed to um, to keep me going and, and drive me forward to get the rest of them calories in. Okay, so for this next meal, I'm going to do something a little bit special. It's actually something that I um, I saw online. Um, I've just got to go grab the supplies. I'll, I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do when I when I get it back home. But it involves Krispy Kreme original glazed donuts. So uh, we'll have a look at what I'm, what I'm going to do after I grab these donuts. So you've just seen me grab the Krispy Kremes. I'm actually going to uh, attempt doing something that I, I saw on the internet a couple of weeks ago, which is, um, I, I don't even know if it's going to work, but we'll give it a crack. I'm going to take the Krispy Kremes and I'm going to put them in the waffle maker. Um, we'll have some, some sort of Krispy Kreme waffles and then I'm going to spread Nutella all over them. So it should be pretty interesting. Let's see how we go.
All right, after the um, after the sleep, we uh, we jumped in the car again, and it was off to 7-Eleven to pick up the Krispy Kremes for the uh, for the Krispy Kreme waffles with Nutella. Um, that one was a lot of fun making. And once again, I think it was one of those ones that I would have really, really enjoyed had I've not been so packed full from all the other meals. Um, they smelled unreal when I cooked them, and um, and eating them was was made a lot more difficult by the fact that I was feeling crook. But the flavour was awesome, and it's probably something that I'd definitely do again on a cheat day. Um, but yeah, definitely not not a ten thousand calorie cheat day. So well, right now I'm in my. Uh my personal uh, infrared sauna. Um, this is a little known uh, secret weapon that, um, that some bodybuilders like to use before comp to, uh, to dry out a little bit. So it's not something that I normally publicize too much, but I thought I'd give you guys a sneak peek because it is something that I, um, I do every once every couple of days on the, uh, on the lead up to comp. So yeah, this is it. As you can see, it gets pretty hot in there. This is what you come out looking like. It's time for a big glass of water, and then continue on with the uh, with the calorie intake. All right, so this one's one that I've really been looking forward to um, to giving a go. I um, I really love paddle pops. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bowl of uh, basically paddle pops. I'm going to scrape five um, paddle pops off their sticks into the bowl, and then I'm going to uh, cover it in another one of my favourites, which is ice magic. So. Shouldn't be too complicated, it's not rocket science. We'll uh, get them in there and then um, get them down. The, 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 the meal to follow was, was my favorite one by far. Um, I'm a real lover of paddle pops. And um, this is something that I just thought of myself. I, I hadn't sort of seen it anywhere on the internet or anything like that. But, you know, I sort of thought to myself, well, you know, I, I do enjoy ice cream, but, but really what I love is, is paddle pops. So I thought, well, how can I sort of make that into like an ice cream type dish? Um, so I scraped the paddle pops into the bowl, absolutely doused them in the ice magic and um, really cruised through that one. I wasn't feeling too bad after it. Um, the Paddle Pops, they're not really a, a dense sort of an ice cream. They're not that, that creamy and milky. So yeah, I, I knocked that one over and I was feeling great. I was, you know, I was thinking, wow, I'm gonna knock, knock over the rest of these, these calories, no problems. Like that one, I was really cruising. And I sort of, I considered doing some more Paddle Pops to really bump those calories up a little bit more, but you know, I wanted to keep the video interesting for you guys, and I thought the um, the last meal that I had planned for you would would probably interest you a, a lot more than watching me eat more paddle pops. So I went for it. All right. So for the last meal of the day, uh, which should put me over ten thousand calories, um, I'm going to be doing Nutella and marshmallow toasted sandwiches. Uh, Basically, I need to do four of these puppies to um, to give me over 10,000 calories. Um, I think they should be pretty nice, but I'll tell you, I've had a lot of sweets today, so <laughs> the, the concept isn't exactly exciting me. But let's get to it.
so I've done it. I've got the 10,000 calories in. Um, it's it's completed. I made it. It wasn't easy, but um, we got there in the end. So thanks everyone for um, for watching the video. It was um, <laughs> it was definitely a bit of a battle, and I can tell you I won't be doing it again. On to clean eating and uh, and comp prep from here on out.